Hey, what's up guys? Today I will talk about snipers. I'm not here to debate which of the snipers is better between the X50, the HDR or the CAR 98. For me, they are all good and I used to be used in Warzone. But in this video, I will talk about the AX50. The advantage with the AX50 and the HDR is that if you miss a shot, you will be able to inflict so much damage and even break shield your enemies. But instead, the CAR 98 will have more mobility and more AM speed, so it's your call. But if you use the AX50 with this attachment I will show you, you will be able to have so much AM speed and the weapon will be fastest as possible. So, to start, to have a weapon with AM faster and a sniper with AM faster, you have to use the tack laser, who is very necessary. Then you have to use a stock, a special stock with the stock Assassin's Singuard, which makes you AM faster. Next, we are in Warzone, so we want to be out of the minimap, so we use a suppressor, and the best suppressor of all, it's the monolithic suppressor. So, the snipers have a good range, a very, very, very huge range in start with no attachments. And there is no need to increase this range, because the majority of your long shots will be between, I think, 100 and 200, maybe 250 meters. But who the hell takes shots from 600, 700 meters? Okay, you will be able to do this one per week, one per month, one per year, one per life. Does that matter? For me, the majority of the long shots are between 100 and 200 meters and I don't want to increase the range which is already huge so I put the monolith expressor only for the sun suppression and because instead of the other suppressor it increases a little bit your bullet velocity then for the barrel I use the factory barrel 32 because uh, it increases your vertical recoil control, your bullet velocity, and it's very necessary. I keep the natural scope of this weapon because I already say that, but I don't want to take shots from 1400 meters for I don't know the. The natural scope is already enough good to play with. So, I have the tech laser, the Tug Assassin's Guard to have more AM speed. I have the Monetic Expressor to be out of the minimap. I have the Factory Barrel 32 to have more bullet velocity and more vertical recoil control. Last but not least, I want to use a perks with name Robust Nest. These perks allow you to be more resistant when you be shot by enemies and when you AM. Your recoil control will be more important. And with this perk and all other, the X50 is AM faster, it, it's harder, and it doesn't move. I advise you to try this class setup. It's amazing. It's like a little bit a car 98, but we don't use a scope. 
instead of the car 98 which has no scope and you have to put scope on the car 98 so you have to use an attachment just for the scope here we keep the natural scope we don't use attachment for the scope so we can put lots of that attachments on this weapon and the other attachments are not necessary for me the foregrip is useless the ammunition you can put seven or nine if you want but you decrease your aim speed and your recoil control and for the um, grip tape maybe it can be interesting but i don't use it so try this class setup enjoy the compilation of gameplay and uh, let's get ready to rumble On approche, déplace. Je vais voir là-bas. Zone approche. Nouvelle zone de sécurité identifiée. La cible est marquée Commencez la frappe Ici Striker 3-1, bien reçu. Frappe imminente. Aucune cible n'a été touchée.
Voix un ennemi Je vais là. Je vais là-bas. Je vais là-bas. Dans le mille. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell.